as you can see we've marked out the board that's all the pipes uh, most people would just cut those out at that we are using MDF uh, we're not using no seasoned timber this is all stock stuff just off the shelf from your local superstore um, it's just 9mm thick MDF board we're using nothing special um, after all this is just to show you, you how we do it so anyway um, what we'll do now is we'll just plane the front of that this is the actual upper lip and all we'll do is plane 20 millimeters back on all the pipes down to uh, more or less a point so if my assistant would like to pick up his plane there we are you can see the, that, that lip is now nice and straight these are all the pipes for the base section and some of the melee sections. There's eight pipes here. I'll give. These are just the fronts, as I've said earlier in the video. And you can actually see that's how I cut mine. Uh, so it's making jigs and things like that. So I did making jigs to do all this kind of cutting if you're going to be building hundreds of them, which I'm not and I'm sure you won't be. Um, all I do is just measure up from the edge of the timber up 20 millimetres then chamfer it down. I don't actually put a keen edge on mine I actually keep mine slightly round um, cuts down a little bit on the chiff that's just my personal opinion you could attach a razor point if you wish uh, but I don't. as you can see the board's all marked out I don't know if you can actually see that the board is all mark marked out each one of those represents a pipe yes we have allowed for the saw cut um, as you will see as we go on. We'll now cut those eight out and we'll end up with eight fronts for the eight pipes we're going to be building. There you go, you can see we've actually put the lines back on. So this, so just to recap, this is the front of the pipe, that's the part of the upper lip. We've actually put the little lines back on to aid in cutting. When we actually cut we take out the line completely. We have allowed for that. Uh, we've allowed two mil extra width on each pipe to allow us to cut back. That's just the way that I set mine up it just saves with jigs and all fancy tools when you're only making one off pipe it means you get all the upper lips exactly the same um, there you go and my assistants now will actually cut all those out because I can't do everything at once. There's all the fronts of the pipes cut out for the eight we're building and I'm sure you agree they look much neater than trying to do them individually. Um, they are all the same, exactly the same, just different widths, obviously, because there's eight different pipes. Just level them up for you, you can see how much neater that looks than trying to do them individually. You can see four spacers. Um, that's the uh, block at the bottom, the airway comes in. That's part of the same piece. That will actually go halfway up, which is a packer, and that's the actual stop there. So, basically, that's how they set out. We'll now stick them all together. Largest base pipe assembled without the front on, as you can see. Quite a few clamps. As you can see, that's the way I actually mount all mine on a baseboard clamp to the baseboard so you get a nice straight flat to the back of your pipe that's actually the uh, stopper for the top of the pipe um, it will need to be cut down more of course we're just using it at the moment just to get the width of the pipe correct same with these in these, these aren't fastened in they're just clamped in position at the moment there's the pipe all uh, glued up now these spacers these just come straight out just like so they all do that they just just pack as that's all same with the one at the top that's the one we're actually going to use as I said as the uh, for the stopper for the and uh, we'll get the front on next but there you go one large base pipe virtually complete Oh, good morning to you. 
My name's Phil Radford, most of you are familiar with me by now, but for the benefit of the people who don't, I run a website and a forum called theaobg.co.uk. Uh, this is just one of the pipes that I'm building. And we're just about to put the front mouth in there. So if you want to bear with me, I'll get that done. So onto the pipe, all glued in, clamped up, ready. Incidentally, a few gentlemen out there, and lady builders, you can never have enough clamps. So, if your partner turns and says, I don't think you've got enough of those clamps, you've got hundreds on them. Show them this video. You can never have enough clamps. When it comes to the upper lip on the pipes, I like to build them the same way as I build the front of my pipes. In other words, exactly the same as I built the front of the pipes at the beginning of this video. All I actually do is get myself a piece of board, 12 centimetres in depth, mark out the eight pipes that we're working on, I then mark 20 millimetres in the same way as we done on the uh, front of the pipes at the beginning of this video, and chamfer it off. So when we actually cut off at the lines, as I said earlier in the, in the cutting the fronts, same principle, you end up with them all looking exactly the same. So I'll just do that now. Here we go. First things first, make sure your blade's nice and square. Uh, there will be a little bit more on this video. I suggest you watch all the video before moving on. see the chamfer done what that actually means is now that lip all the way across for the upper lips for these seven pipes which is a part of the front of the organ will all have the same width across the front of the upper lips so they'll all match they're all the same width like that I don't know if you can actually see that so they're all going to be the same even the chamfers are going to be the same the only thing that will be different obviously is the width so I hope you understand that. If not, email me and I'll try and explain a little bit more to you. Now we've cut our little piece off. Um, that's the going to be part of the upper lip. Try and get into shop for, for this for this pipe. We're going to actually for the top of it. The top of the bit moment is square. So we'll just pause and do that. Do a little tip for you. If you actually want to make a chamfer on the front of a piece of wood like you do on the upper lip of your pipes and you keep getting them all out of shape and you want to just do a one-off I just use a piece of stock timber as you Americans would call it I actually just hold the piece I want to shape up against the piece I'm cutting against, same thickness take me, me edge of my plane I've already started doing this one but and then what I do is I just go up against it and as you can see because you've got a straight edge you're working to, you actually end up with a very nice square. If you can actually see that, put it away for you. You actually end up with a very nice straight edge. Just a little tip, one way of doing the, the front upper lip of your pipes. As you can see, upper lip for this pipe fixed and done. All cut to shape. Well, this is mine back. That's the top half, not not the actual lip. That's the top of this upper lip. It goes on there. Next thing we do is we cut the cap. Um, to go there. So we'll get that cut now. Well, now we're back. And that's the upper lip. Uh, sorry, the cap. We'll get my uh, facts right one day. I think you all know me by now. Um, you might also notice, not if you can put this on there, that I actually make my pipes all slightly wider than they need to be, you know, the material wise here on the side. There's always excess on each side. There's reasons for that, and we'll get to that in a few minutes, but at the moment that's where we've got to at this stage.